Now yesterday I showed you how to create your first Nandroid backup on the OnePlus 3. Now this backup is a complete copy of how your current smartphone is in that state. What this means is any changes that have been made after you made that backup when you restore that backup, all of those changes will be reverted back. Today I'm going to show you how to restore one of those Nandroid backups. I'm going to show you, give you a little example of, of the types of things that will be reverted back. First of all, I'm just going to install a random app. We're going to see this application being dropped on the home screen. So we'll put it in this corner down here. Now we have Solid Explorer down there. I'm just going to move that to the other corner. Put Super SU down there. And we'll just get rid of that camera application icon entirely. So to restore from an Android backup, we first need to boot into our custom recovery. If you don't have a custom recovery on here yet, be sure to check one of my previous videos that will show you how to install Twerp, Team Win Recovery Project. So when you want to restore, we need to tap on this restore button. And then we're going to get a list of all of the previously created backups that we haven't deleted yet. And see we have a backup that I created just before making this video so that I could show you the changes that were made. So we just need to tap on the Nandroid backup we want to restore from. We want to make sure all of the partitions here are checked unless you only want to restore certain partitions. If you want to do a complete restore, just make sure they're all checked right here. We also have the option of enabling MD5 verification of our backup files. This is good because sometimes these backups can become corrupt. So we just want to go ahead and enable that. It'll take a little extra time to verify, but it shouldn't be that big of a deal on this smartphone. So then the OnePlus 3 is checking those MD5s. And as long as they're all matched, they will start to restore. We're restoring four partitions. It's going to wipe the system partition and then restore it. This way it's not just writing that partition back on that same partition. So it will, it will wipe it clean and then it will restore from the backup that we had previously created. The amount of time it takes for your OnePlus 3 to restore from a backup will depend entirely on how big the backup is. You can see mine was 4.3 gigs because I don't have much installed on here yet. If you have a bunch of apps, a bunch of games, a bunch of MP3s or anything like that, then it could take longer. Now it wiped data and now it's restoring the data partition from our backup.
And now it's wiping the, the cache partition and then restoring it. And once it's done, we're going to have these two buttons here. Unless you need to go back and do anything else in Twerp, let's go ahead and tap on the Reboot System button. We're going to see our OnePlus 3 Reboot. It's going to go through the typical boot animations. And then it's going to take us back into Android, but the Android that we boot back into will be the one <clears throat> will be the one that was created when we made that backup. So that app that I installed, AirDroid, those app icons that I moved around and removed, those will be rever reverted back to exactly how it was. As you can see, the camera icon is back. That's the one I slung away. AirDroid is not installed. Solid Explorer is back in that corner. Super SU is back in that corner. And this kind of restore works for any changes you've made since you made that backup. So if you rooted your phone after you made the backup and then you restore from that backup, you will no longer be rooted. The same goes for installing exposed framework, installing exposed modules, installing other root applications, anything like that. So restoring from a Nandroid backup is great in case you installed something that you don't like, like a custom kernel, a custom ROM, or even one like a custom kernel, custom ROM, or an exposed module that sent your OnePlus 3 into a boot loop.